Hi, Miss Rosebum back again with session six of our science sessions. Okay, I'm just going back from work, my hair's all over the place. Um, check this out. Found this in my daughter's fossil collection. Check that out. I wonder who knows what that is. Well, that is a megalodon tooth. Okay, one of the biggest sharks ever to exist, about 23 million years old. Pretty impressive, that is. Okay, that's uh, enough of that anyway. Um, let's uh, move on with today's learning. Let's get the screen shared. Session six, I believe. Um, I'll put that up in the corner. On to full screen. Lovely, right, okay, hope you're all well. Thanks for joining me. Like I said, session six. Okay, and let's move on to what you are going to need today. Well, nice and simple. Pencil and a piece of paper. Okay, pencil and a piece of paper. Make sure you're jotting down some notes as we go along through the learning. And as ever, you will have a pop quiz at the end of this session to see if you've gained that vital knowledge. Okay, um, before we get going, let's see if we can get our brains into gear. Okay, uh, with a little warm up. Here we go. Now, hopefully, if you join me in the last session, we were looking how a balanced diet helps us to grow fit and healthy so let's have a look can you match the uh, the word to the correct statement okay so we have four different words there we've got four different statements something gives us energy they're found in foods such as bread potatoes and pasta something helps our bodies to repair themselves they are found in foods such as fish meat nuts seeds eggs and cheese something helps store energy for our bodies they're found in foods such as butter cheese and fried foods of remember we discussed chips in our last session and then d something is important for helping us digest our food it is found in fruit and vegetables okay give yourself um maybe a minute or so to have a go at that see if you can match the correct word to the statement come back and we'll have a look and check to see how you have gotten on okay so you're back already let's have a look so the task was to match the words um to the statements um let's have a look see how you got on okay so press the button again mr Oswald. right here you go so carbohydrates give us energy they're found in foods such as bread potatoes pasta proteins help our bodies repair themselves they're found in foods such as fish meat nuts eggs and cheese fats help to store energy in our body um their foods are found in such as cheese butter and fried foods remember we discussed how fats you need to eat in moderation don't eat too many fats and then fiber which is highly important to help clean our digestive system and uh, they're found in fruits and vegetables hopefully you find yourself on the back and your brain is all warmed up and we're ready to move on to look at what we are learning about today okay so so far we have looked at the impact of exercise on our bodies if you remember rightly mr osborne was demonstrating uh, some horrendous running on the spot and being completely unfit so he's definitely going to be getting more exercise um and we were looking at the benefits of exercise making sure our bodies are fit healthy and strong in our last session we looked at um the impact of a balanced diet and we re remember when we talked about balance we were talking about getting proteins we were talking about some fats fiber uh, fruits and vegetables um so making sure we got a mixture of those food um, to make sure we had a good diet and we discussed how that not only impacted our bodies but also mentally how that would affect our moods and make sure um, we were in the right frame of mind to be learning at school so finally we're going to move on today to look at how drugs and lifestyle impact our bodies okay now i'm sure as ever there is a uh, animation so the main focus of today's learning is the impact of lifestyles on our bodies okay so like i said before um might be worth making some notes here now i've just flashed up some key vocabulary this is on the vocabulary that you'll see throughout today's session so medicines um addictive 
doctor, alcohol, tobacco, nicotine, heart, lung, cigarettes. This is all things by all words that by the end of the session, you have a clear understanding of and how um, the majority of them impact our body. OK, so it may be worth taking a note of some of these. Um, if you don't, I'm sure we'll meet them throughout the session anyway, and you'll have a good understanding by the end of the session. OK, let's have a look. Oh, added animation. OK, so keeping your body fit and healthy is very important. There are three things you can do. Now, I've already mentioned these, um, but before we move on, maybe pause for the thought here. Three different things you can do to keep your body fit and healthy. I wonder what those could be. I'm just clicking my fingers there. Um, uh, why don't you pause for 30 seconds, maybe write down your ideas, come back, and then let's see how we have gotten on with um, your uh, three key three things compared to my three key things. Okay, 30 seconds, come back. Okay, wonderful. So you're back already. So um, keeping your body fit and healthy is very important. There are three things you can do. Okay, now let's have a look. Number one, eat the right food. Okay, if you joined us, uh, joined me in the last session, uh, you would realize that how important a balanced diet is. Food contains nutrients which are needed for our body. These are carbohydrates, fat, protein, and fiber. Eating the right amount of each food is called a balanced diet, which we've already discussed today. Eating too much sugars and fat and not um, enough fiber it can cause health problems. Okay, so that is number one ticked off our list. I've already mentioned number two. I wonder if you can guess what number two is. What would you consider to be really important to keep a fit and healthy body? It is obviously exercise regularly. Okay, exercise strengthens our circulatory system, keeping our heart healthy. It can also use up the energy supplied by food to prevent your body getting too fat. Okay, now remember I talked about those fats in our last session where that was being used as stored energy. Okay, and it was good that you were getting out and being energetic to use up those stored um, fats. Okay, so that's two things. Eat the right food, exercise regularly, Okay, and we're, just, we're talking about keeping a fit and healthy body. Okay, now I wonder if you can predict what the third thing might be. Okay, so what might be that third thing on Mr. Oswald's list? Keeping your body fit and healthy is very important. Okay, we've had our first two, um, exercise, balanced diet. Well, number three, what I've certainly got is avoiding health risks. Okay, maybe take a pause for thought there. What is a health risk? The two words, health and risk, what do you associate with those two words? And that may help you come up with an answer. Okay, maybe pause the video for 30 seconds, come back, and we'll have a look at this together. Okay, so you're back already, and I'm sure you've already got the uh, answer there. So keeping your body fit and healthy is very important. Okay, the three things you can do. Uh, one was a balanced diet, making sure we consume the right amounts of foods. Um, and different varieties of food. Number two was exercising and ensuring that we're getting enough exercise, regular exercise that, that is. And then number three is to avoid health risk. But what is a health risk? A health risk is something that's gonna cause harm to your body, okay? It can be something that you do, like smoking, or it can be something you don't do, like regular exercise. Okay, so let's uh, delve into that a bit deeper and look at what may cause harm to your body okay smoking now there you go there's a um, illustration there of all the different substances that go into a cigarette and make up a cigarette okay well cigarettes contain lots of different things including tobacco now tobacco can damage your lungs and heart as well as, as of course to, uh, your body to develop deadly diseases like cancer the drug found in cigarettes is nicotine Nicotine is very addictive, which is why some people find it hard to stop smoking. Now, obviously, um, you are well below uh, the age where you should be going anywhere near these anyway, so I don't need to remind you that. But there, right there, is some of the dangers of smoking. Now, e-cigarettes, which you may see people uh, more uh, nowadays um, using, are battery-powered devices that create water vapor, which is a, a kind of gas. This water vapor doesn't contain tobacco, but it does contain nicotine, okay? And nicotine there is a very addictive, and that's why some people find it hard 
uh, to then give up smoking. Okay, so that is looking at cigarettes and smoking. Okay, you may want to take some notes there about um, what drugs we find within smoking there, um, as it may come up in the quiz later. Okay, so alcohol, here we go. There's a picture of alcohol there. Um, and as you know, the legal drinking age is 18, but nevertheless, it's important for us to understand um, the, the impact of alcohol on somebody's body. Um, some drinks, including wine and beer, contain that chemical alcohol. Drinking too much is a big health risk and can cause liver disease, heart and stomach, okay? So that can be very dangerous to you if drunken in excess. It causes blood pressure to rise, which is uh, obviously not good for your body, and we've learned all about heart and blood pressure. It's also dangerous because drinking too much causes drunkenness, which slows down reactions, making accidents more likely. Okay, let's move on. Okay, here's a question for you and some time for to pause and consider this question. Are some drugs harmful? Okay, maybe take 30 seconds to have a think and then come back. Okay, so you're back already. The question I posed was, are some drugs harmful? Um, let's delve into this and have a look at this together. Well, most drugs are used to help someone get better if they're ill, and we call them medicines. Okay, however, medicines and drugs can be harmful. You should always check with the doctor or adult you trust before taking them. Now, I know as sensible year six children, you would go nowhere near medicines, okay, without your parents' consent. Okay, some drugs can be addictive. Addictive. This means they make you feel like you can't live without them, even though they may be causing damage to your body. Okay, now once again, I just want to emphasize it's hugely important that as a child, um, you are listening to adults' instructions whilst taking medicines. Okay. Now, let's have a look at this, illegal drugs. These are substances that are illegal because they are harmful to the body. They include things like heroin, cannabis, and cocaine. They're very addictive and damage the brain, okay? Legal drugs are tablets and medicines that a doctor may prescribe. These are not harmful if used properly, but should only be taken according to instructions, okay? So once again, if we look at that, um, question of are some drugs harmful well actually all drugs can be harmful if not taken um, and it states that if not taken according to the instructions okay now i know as sensible year six children uh, this is uh, something that you already know okay now the last thing i really want to um look at here is solvent and big warning there solvent abuse can kill now Many of you may not have heard this, but solvents, this is commonly called sniffing glue. Solvents are found in many substances, including glue. Okay, they're safe if used for intended purpose. However, they're very dangerous if taken into the body. Okay, they're very addictive and cause instant death. Okay, now quite a stark warning there, and, um, but another picture that needs to be painted um, for you to understand that these are not good things. Right. Okay, so they were some of the things that most definitely, um, as children, uh, you would not be going near anyway, which is good news. Let's have a look at healthy lifestyle, okay? Now, for your body to work properly, it needs a balanced diet, exercise, and enough sleep, okay? This is a little bit of a recap before you go on to a pop quiz. It's important to eat a varied and balanced diet to stay healthy. You need to drink plenty of water and eat at least five portions of fruit and vegetable every day. Okay, now you'll find um, when you're at school, definitely the school meals, um, have a look. So next time you're eating your school meal, double check if you're getting um, your vegetables and fruit there. You also need to make sure you exercise regularly to keep your heart, lungs and muscles strong and healthy. Now, I know at school, uh, we take part in PE twice a week. Uh, we do the golden mile as well, um, which is fantastic. And that is definitely keeping us nice and fit and healthy. And I think Mr. Oswald needs to participate in the golden mile a bit more. And it is also really important, okay, to make sure you get enough sleep so your body has time to recover and recharge. And we definitely looked at that yesterday about how it was important as a child to 
um, allow yourself that recovery time and to recharge so you're ready for school each day. Okay, now I've spoken a lot there. Um, I hope you've not fallen asleep, um, but it is time for a pop quiz, I believe. And here we go. Okay, so get your pencils out the ready. Okay, what is the name of the addictive drug in cigarettes? Who would you see to be prescribed legal drugs? And what can be the impact of drinking too much alcohol? Now there's gonna be two more questions, but I'm gonna leave you those three for maybe a couple of minutes. So pause the video, come back to me, and we'll reflect on those uh, questions and answers. Okay, so you're back already. So what is the name of the addictive drug in cigarettes? Well, we discussed this quite a length. It is uh, nicotine, which causes the addiction. So tobacco contains nicotine, which causes addiction. And if you remember, we discussed how some people begin smoking and then find it very difficult to give up smoking. Who would you see uh, to be prescribed legal drugs? Nice and easy, and I can all hear you shout in a doctor. Legal drugs are tablets and medicines that a doctor may prescribe. You must always follow the instructions given, and I really made a point of that. Okay, just because they're legal drugs does not mean that they're safe to take without following the instructions. And what can be the impact of drinking too much alcohol? Well, drinking too much alcohol is a big health risk and can cause liver disease, heart and stomach. It causes blood pressure to rise. Okay, so hopefully you got those correct and you're patting yourself on the back. A big well done. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, three more questions from uh, today's session. What does your body need to work successfully? Okay, and we talked about that um, at length. What is the benefit of getting regular exercise and why is it important to get a good amount of sleep, which I touched on not long ago. So pause the video for two minutes, come back and then we'll look at those questions and answers together. Okay, so you're back already, fantastic. Um, number four then, what does uh, your body need to work successfully? Well, here we go, your body needs to work uh, to work properly, it needs a balanced diet, it needs exercise and enough sleep. Those three key points that we discussed at the beginning of this session. What is the benefit of getting regular exercise? Well, exercise regularly to keep your heart, lungs and muscles strong and healthy. Okay, and I think after this session, Mr. Osmond might actually go for a, a run, okay? And number six, why is it important to get a good amount of sleep? Nice and easy one to finish on there. Well, it allows your body time to recover and recharge. Okay, wonderful. So then, quick recap on what we've been looking at today. Well, today we've really delved deep into lifestyle choices, both positive and negative, that could be very harmful to our body bodies. Over the last three sessions, we've really looked at the impact of diet and a balanced diet. Um, the importance of ensuring we get a piece of food from all of those food groups. We've looked at the real positive of exercise and regular exercise and how it maintains our healthy living. Okay, ensuring we've got uh, fit muscles, um, our, our lungs are working, our, our hearts working, and not only that, the importance of exercise and helping us sleep and being recharged and ready for the next day. Um, thanks for joining me. If you're gonna come by next time, then we'll be beginning to look at um, living things, including plants and animals. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Um, hopefully I'll see you next time. Take care, bye-bye.